there is a quick announcement friends geography notes has been uploaded in the, recently in the uh, instamojo website and you can find it in the description box there is a link given below and we have covered almost 25 topics and the topics are physical setting of india physiography of india river system cities and banks of the rivers hydel power projects mountains peaks forests soils climates and minerals available and the list of national parks are there are almost one out for uh, National Parks, UNESCO World Heritage Center, Biosphere Reserves in India, Croppings, Cropping Patterns, All About Indian Railways, National Waterways, International Airports, Our and also we have covered Physical Geography, Universe, Earth's Atmosphere, Internal Structure of Earth, Types of Rocks, Earthquakes and Volcanoes, Friends. If you haven't downloaded this, uh, you have to download, Friends. It is very, very useful for you in your preparation. If you go to the description box, you can find the link over there and you can download the Geography Notes. Let's Let's get into the topic today in this video we are going to look into the Indian railway system or railways in India railways in India is introduced by Lord Dalhousie the first goods rail is started in the year December 22nd 1851 in Roorkee friends we all know that the passenger train is started in 1853 April 16th Mumbai to Thani which is the uh, length of 34 kilometers in 1854 east coast has witnessed the railways and it is from Howra to Hookley and southern railway has witnessed after two years that is 1856 from Chennai to Walaja Road Arkad that is the first south zone train started in Andhra Pradesh, in 1862, from Puttur to Renigunta, first train of 36 kilometers has been started, friends. The important train, which is of the world train, is the Fairy Queen, which is still in a run, friends. And coming to the fastest train in India, earlier it used to be Shatabdi Express of speed 150 kilometers per hour but it is recently crossed by Vande Bharat Express which is capable of traveling 180 kilometers theoretically the built people has said that engineers have said that it can cross theoretically 200 kilometers but officially it was run at 160 kilometers per hour and this is one of the kind of uh, semi high speed uh, trains it is called train 18 because it has built in only 18 months and it is built in Chennai friends now officially train 18 replaces Shatabdi Express is the fastest train in India the world's fastest trains is usually be in the China or in the Japan because China and Japan has the technology called the Meglev the Meglev technology trains is the fastest trains in the world. Indian Railways is the fourth largest railway network in the world by size. First, it, first place is backed by the United States and second is China, third Russia and fourth is India. Out of these railways, 80% of the route has been electrified friends. And Indian Railways is the 8th largest employer in the world. It has 1.3 million employees. And official mascot for Indian Railways you can see is a God Elephant and its ele name is Bholu. Totally we have 18 zones in 18 railway zones in Indian Railways. And the 18 zone is a re recently proposed by Indian Railways friends that is of Vishakhapatnam zone coming to the railway zones and the headquarters we can see northern railway is of a Delhi northeastern railway Gorakhpur northeastern frontier Gohati eastern railway Kolkata southeastern railway Kolkata south central railway it is Sikindrabad south southern railway Chennai central railway Mumbai western railway Mumbai southern southwestern railway Hubali south northwestern railway it's Jaipur West Central Railway is Jabalpur, North Central Railway Allahabad, South East Central Railway is Bilaspur, East Coast Railway Bhubaneswar, East Coastern Railway Hajipur, Kolkata Metro is Kolkata and South Coast Railway is Vishakhapatnam. How to remember this? 
See friends, there is a trick to remember this all the railway zones. First, we have to remember the Northern Railway, Southern Railway, Eastern Railway, Western Railway and Central Railway. And all these railway uh, zones comes with the city uh, directions friends. North, we have Delhi. So, Delhi will be the Northern, Northern Railway. So south, you will be having Chennai that is southern railway west you have mumbai and east we have kolkata friends and remember western western headquarters is mumbai as well as the central headquarters is also mumbai so mumbai will be the official head of the indian railways friends and remember chatrapati chatrapati shivaji railway station is the beautiful railway station in india you have to see the architecture friends it earlier it is known as victoria terminus friends okay now coming to the point we have seen the north and south and east and western and central now we have north central railway east central railway south central railway and west central railway and these are given by north central is Allahabad, east central is hajipur south central is sikindrabad and west central is Jabalpur. You have to remember this four. So, north central Allahabad, south central Sikandrabad, east central Hajipur and west central Jabalpur. Okay, completed. Now, we are left with only few railway zones. So, we have northwestern, northeastern, southwestern, southeastern friends. And southeastern, if you are coming to southeastern, eastern and southeastern are same friends kolkata kolkata has three uh, head, headquarters of three railway zones one is eastern railway zone southeastern railway zone and kolkata metro so we have three uh, head, uh, three headquarters is same uh, kolkata and northwestern you know in northwestern region you have uh, rajasthan that is jaipur in the same way northeastern you have gorakhpur southwestern you have hubali and south east central east coast south east coast is bilaspur friends south coast is vishakhapatnam that you have to remember and north eastern eastern frontier is for gohati gohati is the north eastern regions for frontier uh, railway zone friends so yeah if you remember these directions and figures it will be easy for you to remember so coming to the types of gauges of rail railway broad gauge you have 1.67 meters meter gauge is 1 meter narrow gauge is 0 0.76 meters and super narrow gauge is 0 0.61 meters and important is this broad gauge and narrow gauge friends in broad gauge you have to remember 1.67 meters reverse you just reverse it with 67 76 0 0.76 is narrow gauge friends we have indian railway manufacturing units these are locomotive manufacture manufacturing units coach manufacturing manufacturing units and axle and wheel and axle manufacturing units if you come to locomotive manufacturing units we have chitaranjan locomotive works friends in chitaranjan you have west bengal electrical uh, which which produces electrical locomotives in diesel locomotive works is in varanasi and this is diesel and also electrical locomotives is manufactured in diesel locomotive factory that is morovra in bihar is a joint venture between indian railways and g general electrics Electrical locomotive factory is in Madhepura, Bihar, which is a joint venture between Indian Railways and Alstom. You have to remember that G, General Electrics and Alstom are the leading uh, R&D in the rail engines, friends. They are the pioneers in the world in railway engine manufacturing units. Diesel locomotive modernization work is done in Patiala, Punjab and where upgradation of locomotives is done there friends and integral coach factory in chennai is famous for uh, building many coaches friends and recently train 18 which is of the semi high speed 
range trains uh, the first train 18 which is built in 18 months is done in the integral coach factory in chennai tamil nadu rail coach factory is in kapartula in punjab friends and modern coach factory is also in rai rai bareli wheel and axle factory rail wheel factory is in bangalore and chapra in bihar friends where wheel and axle is some important facts of Indian railway system. Indian railways transport almost 2.5 crore passengers daily. And the longest train route in India is Tiprugar Kanyakumari Express that is Vivek Express friends. Vivek Express is named after the Vivekananda. Vivekananda Rock is in Kanyakumari. So it is named after him. Uh, Gorakhpur Junction Railway Station has the world's longest platform that is 1366.3 meters. The slowest train in India is Metropolium to Uti route train which is a toy train friends. This is a Niligiri Mountain UNESCO World Heritage Center. Kolkata Metro Zone of uh, Indian Railways will run 1500 uh, feet underwater metro in India under Hooghly River between Mahankar and Howrah station. This is the underwater metro rail in India. The ferry queen between New Delhi and Alwar in Rajasthan is the, is the oldest functioning steam engine in the world friends. So how important it is you have to remember ferry queen from Delhi to Rajasthan. Trivandrum and Nizamuddin Rajdhani Express travels 528 kilometers without any stop friends. Usually in our Indian railway system the priority first priority will be given to the Rajdhani Express friends. And there are two expensive and lavish luxurious trains in Indian railways friends for the sake of tourism. And we have Maharaja Express is the most expensive luxury train in India and other one is palace on wheels Pal palace on wheels is in Rajasthan for the sake of tourism purpose it has been developed friends and Howrah is the busiest railway station with the train frequency of 974 trains per day Goom railway station is the ease of the Darjeeling is the highest point of the ra railway station in, in India friends and China Bridge will be the world's tallest railway bridge which will be uh, it's in the construction stage friends it's still constructing and if it is completed it is it is the highest world's tallest railway bridge in Jammu Kashmir which is in Vembanad railway bridge is in Kerala is the longest rail bridge in India this is longest Vembanad rail bridge is the longest friends in the way of length and whereas the China bridge is the tallest that is from the uh, from ground level to that bridge the height will be the tallest in the world friends and Pir Panjal railway tunnel is the longest tunnel in India 11.25 kilometers Konkan railways is uh, route is the beautiful train route in India friends you have to experience this Konkan railway route which is of really aesthetic sense friends it will be very very soothing to our eyes Chhatrapati Shivaji terminus is the beautiful station in India it is also the world heritage UNESCO world heritage center Mumbai suburban railway is the oldest railway system in Asia system oldest railway system in India the railway museum in Delhi is the largest in Asia Diamond crossing in Nagpur is the rarest kind where train goes and comes from all the four sides east west north and south friends and here we have given the world heritage sites of by UNESCO Darjeeling Himalaya Railways is the first recognized world Hima, uh, world heritage site in UNESCO in 1999 friends and secondly we we can see Nilagiri Mountain Railways is also a world heritage site by UNESCO in 2005. Kalka Shimla Railways is also recognized in 2008 friends and Chhatrapati, Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus is a UNESCO world heritage site. This is the railway station friends Shivaji 
Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus. Earlier it was called Victoria Terminus, friends. So if there is any updates in Indian Railways, and we will be covering in the current affairs portion, and stay tuned to our channel, and we will be uploading every day geography classes if you like this video don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you don't uh, didn't download this pdf uh, there is a link given below and you can download from there thank you bye bye friends